So ABC2 said, oh, what if we give you a little bit of money and you make a couple of ads for ABC2? And this is kind of our first, uh, the first way that we started forming a relationship with the ABC. But this is one of the ads we made for the ABC with the Bondi Hipsters characters. <laughs> People pay to make this art for ABC2, but they can suck on my and suck on his too. We're not like these other sell out bars. It's celebrity c**ts that sell out to brands. There goes 20 grand. No ever write here, no scripts and no crap. Yeah, ABC2 paid for this beer. And they just paid our rent for the rest of the year. Yeah. Ah, 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 yeah. They're like, so how do you want to spend the money on making an ad? And we're like, what if we just made an ad that was all about how, you know, fuck you guys and we don't want to actually, <laughs> we're not going to spend the money on the ad, we're going to spend it on rent. And they were like, yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, go for it. Cool. It's like, but you trust us way too much. Um, and, um, and so, yeah, what was happening is we were starting to kind of like form this relationship um, with those couple of things between, you know, licensing this, the, the web series and... Uh, being able to make these ads, the guys at the ABC were starting to go like, okay, um, we want to be doing more work with you guys. And there was a, a guy working in development named Greg Waters who had seen Sick and he'd actually kind of been involved. Uh, he know, he'd known Connor, my brother, from kind of years back. And he'd been involved a little bit in helping us like script edit Sick and giving us some ideas for that. And he was working in development uh, in the narrative department at the ABC and he'd seen the Bondi Hipsters videos and kind of loved them. Um, and um, I had a cool picture of a baby. Yeah. So what happened next? And so um, business and shit. We decided. They said, "Do you want to come in?" The ABC said, "Would you like to come in and pitch something? Because we'd love to work with you guys on a long form series." And so uh, my brother Connor and um, our friend Nick Bosher um, all kind of got together and we put together some ideas to pitch a series to the ABC. And so we, we went in there and we pitched them four shows. Uh, one of them was a Bondi Hipster show. It's all about Dom and Adrian setting up their, um, you know, trying to get out there in the world and pursue their fashion label. Uh, another one was a show set in the 80s called Kiwi Assassins, about two New Zealand assassins uh, who were sent from New Zealand to Australia to protect New Zealand's uh, people of interest and, and special products and patents. And, um, and uh, working for this kind of like secret NZ co-op called the Ministry of Defence. And then uh, the, another idea was two cavemen at the beginning of time, just colloquial Aussie speaking cavemen kind of experiencing all of life's firsts for the first time. And then another show was like all of those shows put together plus more and that was called Soulmates. And so uh, we pitched Soulmates as a six by half hour narrative comedy um, that were focused essentially around four different lifetimes of two friends. And the core idea of it was like, let's take that relationship balance we've established with Dom and Adrian, which was proving to be interesting and people seem to be enjoying, uh, which is kind of one guy who's a bit more egocentric and a little bit more about himself and who constantly seems to be the, the person who's weighing down the other. And the other guy being someone who just is completely in love with that guy and would infatuated with, with him and would do anything for him, um, but is who actually has all the kind of creative talent and all the great ideas and stuff like that. So we took that like basis of that relationship and we applied it to different stories uh, throughout time. And so in, um, th that was kind of where we came up with the idea for Soulmates. And so we wanted a narrative comedy that followed storylines between these different characters, but that also really kind of felt like it had that online pacing and that online delivery of gags and, and stuff that could be broken up into bits and shared online. Because we didn't want to, what we'd learned through all our work before Soulmates was like how to make little short standalone pieces of online content that can go for anywhere between two and five minutes that have a beginning, middle and an end and feel shareable and that people can pass around. We didn't want to make a show that all of a sudden threw all that stuff out the window. We wanted to try and carry that in. But I'll, I'll play you the trailer for Soulmates. If you haven't seen Soulmates, here's kind of what the series is about. Groundbreaking underground sex appeal and made in Australia. We've got our own fashion label. It keeps us pretty busy. Nothing? What's it called? It's called... It's called nothing? No, it's 
It's not called nothing. It's just not called anything. Far back. We're sending a crack team of Kiwi secret agents into enemy territory to prevent Australia from laying claims to our technologies, products, and protected people of interest. Sandy dear, why don't you help your brother design his tomb? Beautiful thing I've ever seen. Boy, check out that thing. <laughs> 12 time zones, 12 hours, the sickest place in human history. This is Time Techie Tours. Um, and so, yeah, it's this story that you know, focused on the different lifetimes of these two friends. And um, we were lucky enough to get to make two seasons of that uh, in collaboration with Screen Australia uh, and you know, with help from the man in the back of the room there, Mike Cowap, and the Multi Platform Fund, um, and with the help of Screen New South Wales and working with the ABC. Um, so season one uh, went to air in 2014, and that's the artwork for it on the left. Uh, and season two went to air last year. And in season two, we actually had some co-financing help from a US uh, SVOD platform called CISO, um, who kind of popped up, spent a lot of money on a bunch of different shows, and just found out last week has now disappeared. Um, <laughs> so I guess they spent too much money on shows like Soulmates. Um, and um, there was a really, it was really interesting for us, and it was a really like wonderful process for us to get to learn, you know, again from going and making this stuff online, making this stuff, uh, you know, our first foray into long form through SICK, and then go, moving into Soulmates where we were kind of creating these seasons with different storylines, different narrative arcs that we were trying to all make work in an episodic um, fashion that kind of all still work to standalone online content. Um, for us, we still, like, part of the strategy when we pitched the show at the start was, you know, breaking it up and being able to use particular segments of the show online and having the show exist in its full spine and format on the um, TV networks and then using those two things to feed into each other. So, like, when we took anything from the show and we posted it online, we would then, <coughs> both through YouTube and Facebook, we would provide links back to, say, when it's on iView, the ABC iView link where you can watch the whole series on iView. We'd drive people back to the ABC to watch it on Wednesday night at 9.30 when it was on. We'd, um, you know, and then when the show was over, we could then use all those existing links to put in, like, buy the DVD links, and here's where you can pick up the show after the fact. The content that we've taken from Soulmates and put online has had about 20 million views um, across YouTube and Facebook. Uh, and has been like where we've got a lot of the life for the series from and um, where a lot of our, you know, work opportunities for things that we're working on moving forward have also come from. Um, I just thought, I thought I'd play one little clip from Soulmates. So two of my favourite characters uh, are the cavemen. These the two versions of the guys back at the start of uh, humanity. And I suppose I just wanted to show that we didn't lose our immaturity uh, moving from the internet. <laughs> into television. Um, slight content warning for anyone who's like offended by normal shit, um, then... <laughs> okay. Should use the button. Well, let me get this straight. She had sex with you with her mouth. Yeah. Was it good? It was better. Better? It was... Well, I, I can't really describe how good it was, but it was really good. Well, it changes everything. How so? Everyone's got a mouth. <laughs> and cut.
still remains the first male-on-male -male 69 to have been aired on ABC. Um, 